Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today we are in Matthew chapter 21 in verse 22. And Jesus says this pretty amazing statement. He says, you can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. Now, on the surface, at the first glance, and looking at it from a purely human and, frankly, self-centered standpoint, this sounds like Jesus is saying, your prayers are like the genie's magic lamp. You just rub the lamp and you tell me what you want and you got it. But let's consider this. He says, if you have faith. So what is faith? From a human perspective, faith means kind of like, like I, I have uh, um, positive thinking. I am, I, I have got to have faith, you know, like George Michael sings. It's about, from a human standpoint, it's like, okay, I just kind of, I'm believing it there. I'm not having doubts. I've got faith. But faith in Scripture, as it's taught in the whole of Scripture, faith is about putting all that we are into God's hands. It is giving my whole life to him and giving all of my will to him, and all of my desires are no longer playing a part in this. This is God at work. And I am trusting that God's purposes are going to be fulfilled and God's purposes become my purposes. So that changes your attitude from the gimme, gimme, gimme kind of thing like, hey, God, you got it. Come on, pay up. You said that if I prayed for anything and had faith that you'd give it to me. So bring on that uh, lotto victory and bring on the, the new car and whatever else. No, if we have faith, if our trust and our desire is completely rooted in God and his will and his purposes, that's going to shape our prayers. And so our desires become aligned with his desires. And then, of course, God is going to fulfill his desires. It's a, it's a subtle but very important way to approach prayer. Yes, we can present our needs and our desires, and we should. God says, do that. Bring them to him. But we bring them with faith and trust that he is in control, that he knows best, and that perhaps his way of answering the prayer will be different from what we would have done if we had that magic lamp approach. Put our faith in God completely. Bring our needs to him. Bring our requests to him. And then in that confidence that God loves us and he is in charge and he has his best in mind for us, that we lay that in his feet and we trust to see how he's going to fulfill our needs and fulfill the desires of our heart, which we hope are more and more aligned with his. Let's pray. Father, this is a difficult thing. You tell us to ask for anything and with faith and that you will give it to us. But Lord, we know that our selfish desires are oftentimes against what you would want for us. There are things that we think may be the best, but in the big picture, from your perfect knowledge and understanding of where this would take us and what it would do to us and where you want us to be, you oftentimes have a different plan. So God, our desire is to be aligned with your desires for us. And so, Lord, we do have needs, we do have concerns, and we bring them to you. And our faith is about trusting that you are all wise. You are all powerful and you have the best in mind for us and for your glory. So Lord, help us to trust you to put our faith and belief and trust firmly in your best and your will, and your purposes. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, in the context of wanting to do what God wants, we read again in Matthew 21, 22, 
You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. God knows what is best for us, and I want what is best according to God's will. God bless you as you seek to align yourself with God as well. And take care.